Beerviews.com. Once again, off location, but we are going to review a Stone Beer, uh, once again, an IPA, which is what they have uh, made themselves so famous with. This is their Stone Ghost Hammer IPA in this really cool silver mix of a can. I know the lighting's not great. I saw this in a six pack and thought, why in the world is Stone bringing out yet again another IPA? How are they going to make it any different? I mean, they, they've got Enjoy By, they've got their standard IPA, they've got all these tangerine IPAs and everything else. And quite honestly, the brewery has done a phenomenal job of making IPAs, in my opinion. The most popular uh, beer blend of choice in the U.S. right now. So I was kind of confused, but um, that's why we do these reviews. Again, came in a six pack, all in cans. I think it was thirteen or fourteen dollars a six pack. ABVs are six point seven percent. IBUs are only fifty six. And there is this wacky description they have on their website about how it's. It fermenting beer never slumbers, and then it talks about like the responsibility of the on the shoulders of the old overnight brew crew. And most brews are dark in the shadows, but throughout the night, the cellars resonate the occasional knocking of expanding and contracting pipes, and hence the whole ghost theme. Um, it can be a little spooky, but the beer will creak and moan. <laughs> All this randomly knocking about the mallet. This IPA is liberally hopped with Laurel honors our intrepid overnight team by naming it after mis their mischievous poltergeist companion. So clearly this is named after the third shift at Stone Brewing who are brewing beer 24 hours a day and they have to at this point, I'm sure, um, to produce the volume they produce now. And I guess there's a ghost theme <laughs> Um, that they've kind of labeled this after. So anyway, um, let's get into a glass, see what we got here. I did I did try one of these, and I don't remember anything about it. Um, it was one of those scenarios where um, before I bought the six pack, it was, yeah, just try a single, see what it's like. And I don't remember anything about it. So um, it does say enjoy by 9.15. We're in seven. Yeah, we're in seven, what is it, five, six, something like that. So I've had this beer for probably uh, maybe three or four weeks. Um, so it's probably about two months old. Um, it's definitely cloudy, a little orangey. Um, nothing residual floating around, but it's definitely not crystal clear through the glass. The head is perfectly white, perfectly placed and somewhat thin, but... Again, ABVs are only 6.7, IBUs are only 54, so this should be very medium body. Ooh, I don't remember this. It's very lemony. It's uh, kind of like got a, a grassy lemon, um, kind of a, uh, oh. this is hard. This is a different one because it's got a, a wheat background aroma to it. Kind of smells like a Hefeweizen. Uh, maybe a little tiny bit of, of orange-ish in there. Um, it's oh, interesting. I mean, the hops, I can't pinpoint at all. It, it, it definitely smells like a German-esque Munich type um, background to it. So the malts in here definitely must be, uh, you know, definitely complementing the aroma of it. Cheers, let's get into the glass and see what this ghost hammer is all about. Drinks better than it smells. That's good. Um, it's got a kind of a very upfront, what I'm tasting, a, a wheat-ish, again, flavor, hence the aroma. It's got a little bit of that kind of earthiness, the grassiness, the... I kind of, I, I, I've referred to it before, it's kind of like a dirt taste to it, like very, um, almost gritty, um, hence the kind of cloudy aroma, aroma, appearance. Um, I mean, it's got like a little bit of lemon to it. It, it, it's got some hops to it, but I think the malts, whatever's in here kind of overpowers it. Now in defense of stone, they're not going to get any better than what they have on the market, in my opinion. 
Joy Buy is one of my favorite beers ever. I actually have learned to like their IPA a lot recently because it's in restaurants all over the place and it's a heck of a lot better than the macro beers. Um, this one just kind of has a kind of an interesting mix to it. it it's it's definitely um, got some malt wheat characteristics to it. It's gritty. Um, again, um, that's what you would expect by the the uh, appearance. It dissipates nice. Um, it's different. It kind of got a little bit more stickiness to it than I would anticipate with the ABVs and IBUs. Ah, so again, this is the, why I do these reviews, why I started years ago, I would not buy this again. I don't know why they made it. I don't understand why a company who has cornered the IPA market and is in top three in the country, probably the world, would bring something out like this other than trying to be different with what they already have on the market. There's a ton, too many in my opinion, IPAs like this on the market already from all these breweries popping up all over the place that aren't that good, that are very forgettable. And for the money, when you're talking 11 12 $13 a six pack, that's a lot of money. I would not buy this one again. I love this brewery. It hurts me, it pains me personally to have to say that about this brewery, but it's just it's just nothing special. And if I, I would I would gladly spend two, three, four, five dollars more, even on a six pack, to get their enjoy by or some of their special blends that come out. This one here is just I don't know what I don't know what in the world they were doing other than they were trying to make a joke about the, the midnight the third shift and the ghost in the background and they're making so much money they can do it. So Congratulations to them. We ran our beers between one and five. I would probably give this about a two. And that's being generous. Um, it just doesn't hit on anything for me. It's very confusing. Um, and the price point for what it is, it's nothing spectacular. So if you've tried Stone Ghost Hammer IPA, leave comments on our YouTube channel or our, our website. We upload all the time. We appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, we will see you again real soon. Cheers.